Let's meet Jesus, God's one and only Son. He came to earth to save us, each and every one. Jesus, our King, the very best in me. One time he rode into the town, sitting on a donkey. Into Jerusalem for all to see. People cheered and celebrated, waving palm tree leaves, shouting Hosanna, for the King had come that day. It's Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. He did amazing things, too many to count. Let's all sing it, dance and shout. He did amazing things, too many to count. Let's all sing it. That Jesus was crucified He gave himself up on a cross And then he died But three days later He rose from that grave His tomb is empty And our sins he forgave He is risen He is alive Our Savior, our friend Our King Jesus is a okay and now we celebrate Jesus, our risen King, who came to save us. And for this we sing, He did amazing things, too many to count. Let's all sing it, dance and shout. He did amazing things, too many to count. Let's all sing it, shout it. Sing it, shout it out. Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, this morning in Sunday school, you're going to be learning about the prodigal son. Uh, it's a story you know really, really well, but nevertheless, pay attention. You might learn something new. Let's just pray before I hand you over to our videos. Loving God, thank you so much for each and every one of our boys and girls as they tune in today. And I just pray that you would be with them, Lord, and help them to learn more and more about you. And help them to realise, Lord, that they're so precious to you, so precious that you came to earth to live and die for them. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Stories of the Bible. The Prodigal Son. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. So Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, um, excuse me? I want my share of your estate now, before you die. Okay. So his father agreed and gave his son his inheritance. A woohoo! A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings. See ya! And moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. Huh? About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land. Aw, oh, man. 
and he began to starve. Hey, you! He convinced a local farmer to hire him. And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the food he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. Finally, he said to himself, at home even the servants have food enough to spare, and here I'm dying of hunger. I know. I will go home to my father and apologize and ask him to take me on as a servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. Sir! His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet, and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. All right, yeah. Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. Huh? Hey, you! And he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Woohoo! All right, party time! All right, yahoo! The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him. Oh, oh man! But he replied, All these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after wasting your money, you celebrate by giving him a great feast. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed sitting comfortably because now I'm going to invite you to get on your feet and start practicing our latest Sunday School song, Show Me Your Ways, O oh Lord. And Sunday School teachers, that goes for you as well. So do enjoy. 